Okay, so can you determine the angle measure of the line? Well, to help you out, this is a multiple choice question. And uh, let's see if we can figure this out. All right, so our first answer is zero degrees. Maybe this line is zero degrees. Or maybe it is 360 degrees or 180 degrees. And our last choice, D, is 270 degrees. All right, now uh, just take your best guess here because all of you out there have some sort of an opinion on this, but some of you um, have the actual right answer because you know your geometry. But uh, either way, put something into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to explain why the correct answer is the valid answer. All right, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have this line, and uh, here is our choices. Now, some of you might be saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, you got me on this one. Uh, matter of fact, it's impossible for this line to have an angle measure. It's not even an angle, Mr. YouTube Math Man. What are you talking about? Well, unfortunately, uh, that would be incorrect because the right answer is C, 180 degrees. All right, now, if you got this right, we well, definitely get a happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional in basic angle measure. But uh, what we need to do here is review the concept of an angle in geometry, and then, of course, I will explain this, and then all of you out there that are a little bit lost will totally understand why the answer is 180 degrees. All right, so let's go ahead and review the basic concept of an angle in geometry. Now, most people, uh, you know, they know what an angle is. Like, yeah, Mr. Two Math Man, an angle is a thing like that. But let's be a little bit more precise about angles. All right, now there's three things in geometry. Well, there's a lot more than three things, but I'm going to draw three similar things. And let's see if you know the names of these things right here. Okay, so in geometry, when you have a line with two arrows on either side, what is this called? Go ahead and put this into the comment section if you know. And then if you have a, a line with just one arrow and like a little uh, end point, what is that called? And then if you just have like a little segment of a line, what is this called right here? All right, so in geometry, a line, by definition, when you draw one, there is a little line segment, but there's two arrows. In case if you want to indicate a line, so you have to put two arrows like so. Now, this thing right here, okay, and I'll explain to you why this is important, is not a line, okay? So this, by the way, lines uh, kind of extend out to infinity in either directions. This thing right here is called a ray, okay, because we have what we call an end point. So it starts here, and then it goes off to infinity in this direction. This is a ray. This is a line. And then a little slice of a line is called a line segment, all right, a line segment. And uh, you definitely want to know this terminology because... When we look at an angle, basically what we're doing is we're combining two rays or line segments. As a matter of fact, let me go and highlight these right here. So this is a ray and this is a ray, but these rays are emanating or starting from the same common point. That's called the vertex, all right? So by definition, uh, this would be an angle in geometry. So you could have uh, uh, two line segments, a line segment and a ray, or two rays, all right? You're, you're not going to have two lines like so, okay? Now, when two lines do cross, they do form angles, all right? Matter of fact, here's another bonus question for some of you out there. What type of angles are formed by intersecting lines? These things right here are, call, are called vertical angles, and uh, they appear to be equal because they are equal. All right, now let's talk about how we measure lines, or I'm sorry, measure um, angles. So uh, typically, the way we measure angles, and this gets more interesting when you study like uh, trigonometry and the like, is we start from here. Okay, so we start, okay, and oftentimes in trigonometry, uh, we don't even have to take it that far. This is called the initial side. This is called the terminal side, but typically, we start from here, and we kind of go counterclockwise. So uh, there's two ways that we, there's actually more than two ways, uh, but typically there's only two ways in math that we, um, uh, two different measurements or measures, excuse me, 
uh, of, uh, of angles, okay? The first is degrees, all right? So hopefully most of you are familiar with this. And what would you say the angle, uh, the degree measure is for this particular angle? If you want to take a guess, just take a random guess. But hopefully maybe this looks to be somewhere around like 40 degrees. Now, when you do study geometry, it's a good idea just to kind of um, get uh, pretty good at taking uh, reasonable guesses at angles, right? So this is what we call an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. But remember, uh, we have this ray and this ray emanating from the vertex. So this would be like um, 40 degrees. Now, of course, if we bring in this angle tighter, okay, so we have these two rays starting from here, this is going to be a smaller angle. So maybe this angle right here might be like 10 degrees. All right, but if we keep this the same, but we keep, you know, going up this way, our angle measure is going to increase. Now, I did mention, <clears throat> excuse me, that there's another uh, way that we can measure angles, and that is called radiance, all right? So for those of you out there that are going to be studying uh, trigonometry, you will be very familiar with radiance. But when we talk about angle measure, uh, a degree, you have this little circle up in the top right, so like 40 degrees, all right? Or you could put DEG. Okay, so just real basic stuff out there, but let's go ahead and take a look at a couple other quick angles here before we answer the question. So this angle is a 90 degree angle. So uh, our previous example, it kind of went like this, so where we're thinking like 40 degrees, but as we continue to uh, increase this measure going this way, we're gonna eventually have this kind of straight up and down situation. And this type of angle is what we call a right angle, okay? Which means that this angle is 90 degrees. This is a very important angle in mathematics. And it's indicated by this little, uh, little box like this right here. So if we see an angle with a box uh, right here, a little square in the corner, that means that it is 90 degrees, i.e. it is a right angle. And there's all sorts of implications uh, that kind of follow from right angles, but uh, that's for another video. All right, so you can see that our angles are increasing this way. Let's go to take a look at another example. All right, so we could continue on. Now remember, we have uh, our two rays here emanating from our vertex. So here, uh, this, you know, we're starting from here and we just keep, we went past 90 degrees, right? So let me kind of show you here the best of my ability. So uh, here is our 90 degrees, which was like this, okay? We had our 40 degrees, so then we went to 90 degrees. Now we're past 90 degrees. So remember, at 90 degrees, we have a right angle. If you have angles less than 90 degrees, these angles are called acute angles, okay? Acute as like a sharp a sharp angle, okay? So you need to kind of know these uh uh, little uh, terms about angles. So acute angles, less than 90 degrees, perfect 90 degree angles, right angles. And angles that are bigger than 90 degrees are called obtuse, obtuse angles. So like right here, this particular angle, it just keeps going past 90 degrees. So this would be like 120 degrees. So an obtuse angle is an angle that is bigger than uh, 90 degrees. All right, so now to get to the question, why is this line 180 degrees? Let's go and take that step, which of course is first having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support to continue to do these videos. I love teaching math, uh, but here is uh, the best part about being a math teacher, and that is helping people. That's the whole reason I teach math. I get something out of it. I know the math. I'm trying to kind of help you know, other people you know, understand this because uh, typically there's so many people out there that think they are bad at math. Now, if you've struggled with math or if some math teacher or some experience has kind of planted it in your brain that you're bad at math, please do away with that, okay? Uh, that is your first starting point if you truly want to learn and improve math. There is no such thing as a bad math student, okay? There's no, so there's, everyone has their own, you know, abilities, of course. Some people are gonna be naturally better at math. But all of you out there can be reasonably successful. But you won't be successful if you think you're bad at math. And I'm here to tell you, and I'm being very sincere and honest about this, that you're not. Okay. But you do need to get great math instruction. You have to work at this, and it does take time. So if you need help in mathematics, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those uh, in the description of this video, to including my full geometry course. Or maybe you want to check out my math skills rebuilder course, which is a basic review for those of you that have been away from uh, math. I go through basic math, algebra, and even geometry and some trigonometry. 
All right, so let's go ahead and answer this question. So why is this line 180 degrees? Well, because right here is our vertex, okay? So when you do have uh, an angle measure of a line, okay, and this could be a little confusing because you don't see the rays, but there is two rays going on here, right? So there's a ray here and there's a ray here. So uh, here, okay, we start here and it kind of goes all the way to 180 degrees, okay? So just remember, uh, here was like our 40 degrees and we continued on 90 degrees. Uh, we continue on to 120 degrees, but if we get perfectly flat here, one line, we're going to end up with 180 degrees. Now, remember, uh, 180 degrees is a semicircle. So we start from here, okay, and we're just kind of going around the circle. So 180, and if we do a complete lap around a circle, that's 360 degrees. For those of you that answered uh, 270 degrees, that's three quarters away around a circle. Now there's other starting positions for angles and of course there's a lot more about this uh, topic but it, it's important uh, to walk away with at least um, some uh, common you know terminology about angles like uh, obtuse angles, right angles, um, you know straight angles which are lines okay um, acute obtuse you know there's even other type of um, well, the angles are a big, big topic in um, geometry. So if you didn't know this, no big deal. I try to make these uh, videos fun and interesting. They're certainly not uh, designed to make anyone feel bad, but hopefully you enjoy this uh, little uh, challenge. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.